the demise of Fort Mosley. Francisco Menendez governed the new Mose until 1763, when the Treaty of Paris ended the Anglo-French Seven Years' War. That treaty made Florida a British colony and Cuba a Spanish colony. Mose had always been significant in the dispute between Spain and England. Now, with the signing of a document far across the Atlantic Ocean, Fort Mose and the Spanish presence in St. Augustine came to an end. The town's people of St. Augustine, the resident of Mose, and their Indian allies all abandoned their homes and dreams. On August 7, 1763, 51 men, women, and children boarded a schooner poignantly named Nuestra Señora de los Dolores, Our Lady of Sorrow, and sailed for Cuba they settled in Montanzas, where they experienced terrible privations. Eventually, some, like Francisco Menendez, moved to Havana, further scattering the displaced Mose residents. After living an extraordinary life, Menendez died in Cuba at approximately 70 years of age. The end. As you see from the book, the Underground Railroad not only went north, it also went south. Thank you for watching and learning about the Underground Railroad, the nation's first civil rights movement.